Welcome into Body and Soul on 938 Live. Hi everybody, Daniel Martin here once again. It is time for your daily health check. And of course, it is time for the Chlorella series, our ongoing series on the health benefits of Chlorella, which is a unique superfood and indeed one of nature's powerhouses. Just what is this naturally occurring algae and how is it going to have benefits for your health as well? In the past few weeks, we've talked about many aspects of its impact on your healthy lifestyle. In today's edition, we want to know more about why you need to be concerned about weight loss and weight control, particularly if you're worried about future heart conditions and obesity problems. We're going to find out more with my guest on the series. You'll recognize him, of course, as Associate Professor Harish Kumar Kantilal from the Faculty of Medicine at Massa University College in KL, Malaysia. This edition of Body and Soul is brought to you by Abel Dor Chlorella. For more information, please call 6339 Four, five. That's 6339-5045. Or if you want to email any queries you might have to Dr. Harish, this is the email address. It's info at abeldor.sg. Now that's spelled A-B-E-I-L-L-E-D-O-R dot S-G. Dr. Harish, welcome back to the program. Thank you for joining us once again. Hello, Singapore. Hi. Let's start off, Dr. Harish. Oh, actually, you know what? First, I want to say, actually, a lot of people have been emailing me and asking me how to spell chlorella. <laughs> so I do want to say it out on air right now, okay? Chlorella is spelled C-H-L-O-R-E-L-L-A, okay? C-H-L-O-R-E-L-L-A. So if you're looking for it at the health food stores, that's how you spell it. Okay, Dr. Harish, talk to me about weight loss issues. First of all, we know that obesity is a is a big problem for a lot of people and many people are worried about the obesity epidemic and weight gain and in our sedentary lifestyles, we're all gaining weight in the wrong places. First of all, is weight gain issues, is that really a significant problem for us here in Singapore and in Malaysia? Yes, definitely, because now we see that obesity has become sort of an epidemic. We can, in those days, obesity was very rare, you know, where people used to work hard, used to do the housework, and they used to do a lot of traveling on their own by walking, basically. Today, everything is very easy. So, in Malaysia and Singapore, we can easily have figures like one in five and one in four people who are actually at least overweight or obese. Mm. This is very scary. And not only that, now the thing has gone out of proportion because now even children are becoming obese. And studies normally reveal that children who are obese during their younger age, eventually when they become adults, they also become obese. So this is quite a scary thing, actually. And what is the main reason behind it? Is it really, does it boil down to us eating too much of the wrong kind of food? Uh, yeah, actually there are several factors. Okay, one of the factors may be a small role played by genetic. There's a small gene factor there, number one. But the other thing which are more prominent, the gene control, the gene part of it we cannot control. But I believe we can control the other part. Like number one, we can control our diet. That is in our hands. So the diet is eating the wrong food at the wrong time. Very important. Number two is the lifestyle, where most people, I believe, they have a very sedentary lifestyle. They hardly move. Everything is done by machines. And number three, they lack the most important thing, okay, which is exercise. Mm. Okay, so all of this put together, okay, when you do not practice all of this, it's equals to obesity and overweight. Why is this a health concern? What has weight gain been shown to be linked to in terms of future health problems? Now, basically, once you're overweight and once you're obese, okay, it puts you at a higher risk for several diseases, okay, such as, number one, type 2 diabetes mellitus, okay, is linked to being overweight and obese. Also, cardiovascular problems, okay, you have got more chances of getting cardiovascular problems, okay, and then obesity and weight gain, okay, there's also a link that men and women who consume lots and lots of fats, okay, in their diet, especially of animal origin, okay, they have got a higher, okay, predisp predisposition towards prostate cancer for men mm. and also breast cancer for women. So it looks like obesity, it doesn't really stop there, it goes on to lots and lots of complications in life. And for women, there's another problem because when you are obese, okay, it also affects your fertility. It's difficult to get pregnant when you want to get pregnant. Really? See, all of this is linked to that weight gain. I mean, is, do we know what specifically about weight we're talking? Is it about cholesterol? Is it about the fat content? Anything specific there? 
Yeah, normally weight gains, there are two aspects. One is basically your body fat analysis, where when you do a body fat analysis uh, procedure, you'll find out that your body fat analysis is quite high, okay? It's way beyond the, the category which is safe. And some people if you go to up to 30%, 31% of body fat, okay? And men normally have all their fats in their belly, mm. and women normally have it in their hips, okay? That's quite common, actually. And not only that, it doesn't stop there with your fats and adipose tissue. Now, these fats, eventually, people who are obese, they tend to have a higher risk of developing higher cholesterol in their blood and also higher amount of fats in your blood. Normally, the fats in the blood is measured in the form of triglycerides. So these are the few important things which are linked to obesity. We're going to find out more with my guest, Associate Professor Harish Kumar Kantilal from the Faculty of Medicine at Massa University College in KL, Malaysia, when we continue with the Chlorella series right here on Body and Soul. Today we're talking about the importance of weight control and weight loss. We continue just ahead. Welcome back to Body and Soul on 938 Live. The Chlorella series continues right here on your daily health check. I'm Daniel Martin. Today I'm speaking with Associate Professor Harish Kumar Kantilal from Massa University in Kale, Malaysia as part of the Chlorella series. We're talking about weight control and weight loss issues and we've heard from Dr. Harish why uh, really this needs to be of concern for so many of us. Dr. Harish, here's the other flip side of the coin. Maybe many of us do know about weight issues and their links to future problems like cancer, diabetes and whatnot, and even hypertension and high blood pressure. And we try. We try to, to, to lose the weight, to control the weight, but it, be, it is very difficult for many people. It's quite variable from person to person. Why is it so difficult for us to control our weight? Because basically the most, the most difficult part in weight control is the program of the dieting program where normally what people do is they will discipline themselves for a week or so, okay, and after a week or so they're back to square one and they, start, they, get, they get fed up, they don't see the results and they start again eating all the same things again. And another problem they have is they have a lot of these cravings for, for sweet stuff, for carbohydrates. The carbo cravings is very, very high. And it's believed that once, uh, once there's a magnesium deficiency in the body, the cravings for carbohydrates and sugar will be much higher. Okay? And studies have shown that chlorella consumption, okay, the first thing it does is it will start correcting all the deficiencies in the body. So it will take some time where initially all the deficiencies one by one will be addressed. And one of the most important deficiency that will be addressed is the magnesium deficiency. Okay, once the magnesium deficiency is addressed, the person who is going through this weight loss program will automatically realize that, hey, now hey, my cravings have stopped. Actually, I don't feel like, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel to, I, I'm not craving for all these chocolates and sweets and carbohydrates. So that's one way of correcting okay, this, this, this problem actually. Yeah, I want to find out more about the magnesium deficiency issue in just a bit. But let's take one step back, uh, actually, Dr. Harish. What exactly is a craving, really? Now, a craving is normally when, okay, the cells in the body do not get enough of sugar, okay, or do not get enough of energy. So what they do is normally, normally the cells will start screaming, okay, they start screaming for energy. And this will eventually manifest, okay, as what we have, this feeling called craving. So actually what happens in the body is sometimes, okay, the body has got a lot of what is fed, okay, although being overfed but the body is still undernourished. Why? Because the body is fed with the wrong food stuff. So what we have here is we have, what we have to do here is we have to provide high levels of easily assimilated nutrients, okay, which will in turn reduce the food cravings and eating binges, okay. So what happens is the first thing chlorella does is it will bring back the endocrine system. I think we know the endocrine system is the system that controls the hormones in the body. It will bring back the endocrine system into a state of balance, okay? It improves the overall effectiveness of the diet program, okay? And in the long run, it actually, okay, these people will actually slowly reduce, lose their desire for unnecessary junk food or meals. Okay. What does that all have to do with magnesium? And, and are certain people more magnesium deficient than others? Yeah, it's true. Normally, studies have shown that people who are pre-diabetic and people who are diabetic are definitely, most of the time, they are deficient in magnesium. And also, people who have got very little servings of greens in their diet, they have got this magnesium deficiency problem. So normally, when once your magnesium deficiency is there, so you'll start craving for 
either sugar or either carbohydrate. So now both of these, sugar and carbohydrate, are very well linked with what? They're always linked with over calories and overweight. So the first thing the problem is to address is not by suppressing the appetite. The best thing to do here is by satisfying the appetite. So the best thing here is to correct the magnesium deficiency and automatically you'll see that the appetite will be satisfied rather than suppressed. I see the idea of satiety there instead. Exactly. We're going to find out more just ahead about the role that chlorella can play in weight control and weight loss just ahead on body and soul. What does it have to do with uh, your digestive system as well? We're going to find out more. Stay with us on Body and Soul on 938 Live. Now this edition of Body and Soul is brought to you by Abel Dor Chlorella. For more information, please call 6 6- Three three nine five zero four five. That's six three three nine five zero four five. Or you can email them info at abeldor dot sg. It's spelled A B E I L L E D O R dot sg. We continue on body and soul just ahead.